Arches, Arches National Park. Park. I'm Nathan, the narrator. Behind me, you'll see what Arches National Park looks like today, a desert environment found in southeastern Utah whose name comes from the 2,000 natural sandstone arches that can be found in the park. Today, I'm going to tell you about the history of fossils found through arches and the differences they show across various time periods. Let's take a look back in time, way back in time. The fossils found throughout this time period are mainly small marine animals that lived in the seabeds under the water. These include brachiopods, rugose coral, trilobites, and crinoid stems. Moving forward in time, we get to the Honecker Tail Formation made from many sedimentary rocks and are now open in shallow sea. Fossils found here are all marine life. These include rugose coral, brachiopods, gastropods, bradyodont, crinoids, echinoids, and bryozoans. On to the late Triassic era. The Chinle Formation is our first terrestrial environment with dinosaurs. Many of the fossils found from this era include dinosaur tracks representing the most abundant track fauna of the Triassic of North America, a species like the Ayetosaur and Tritylodon. This terrestrial environment continues throughout the late Jurassic period with the Kayenta and Navajo sandstone formations. The most prominent fossils we can see in this formation today are dinosaur tracks by my new species, such as theropods, prosods, and tritylodonts. During the Middle Jurassic period, with the creation of the Western Interior Seaway, comes a major shift in the environment shown in the Carmel and Entrada formations. Here we get a fluctuating sea and sand environments, which brings in new dinosaurs like the Ubruntes and Grunlater. This beachy setting continues through the time of the Curtis Formation. However, through the fossilized tracks, we can see that new dinosaur species have replaced the old ones. Attracted by food sources from the land and the sea, we now have allosaurs and tridactyls. Moving forward to the Upper Jurassic period, the Somerville and Morrison formations show a major reversal in environment back to the diverse flora and fauna we saw earlier. During this time period, we can see pterosaurs, sauropods, theropods, and the earliest known fossils of ants. We're now arriving at the time of the Cedar Mountain formation. The park is full of rivers at this time, which makes it ideal for fossil deposition. This formation has a lot of dinosaurs, which includes sauropods, ankylosaurs, ornithopods, and theropods. Next, we come to the time of the Dakota Formation, where we see fossils of Tempskia and other extinct plants. We're now at the time of the Mancos Shale. This formation formed in the sea, which was created after a major flood killing all the plants from the previous time period. This sea was from the various marine animals like pelesopods, gastropods, ammonites, oysters, and cephalopods. After a large unconformity, we're now jumping forward to the time of the Pelestocene deposits, where we find mammal fossils like bighorn sheep, bison, and Colombian mammoths. As we saw, various species lived in Arches National Park throughout its history. Between marine animals to dinosaurs to plants to mammals, hundreds of species have called Arches home. Thank you so much for watching.